Hi, this is John Stevens. Welcome to video two of two from uh, MissingDrivers.com. In this, we're going to uh, be covering how to use Driver Detective. Driver Detective is extremely easy to use, and we're going to give you some of the features here. And I guess one of the biggest ones, really, you don't even need to do any sort of customization at all. But is what you can do is under Tools, you're going to see right here up on top. Um, I already did select the type of model I had, but you could just say, oh, use Driver Detective Universal Match Intelligence. This way you don't have to use for, this is for custom built systems, or if you just can't find your model number, I know some of them aren't that well placed, you can just use that uh, to do the scans for, and it really doesn't matter. It's going to get you the latest driver regardless. Uh, the other p important thing to note is the download location. Now, by default, it downloads it into a pretty complicated path, and usually I do recommend that people just change that to something really simple. You can go to My Computer, or Browse, I'm sorry, and generally is what I would recommend you store it under is actually uh, do something like My Documents, and then just create a new folder, and you can call it uh, drivers or or whatever you want. Driver detective will work. Whatever you want to call it, and uh, we'll just say drivers for right now. Let's hit OK. So now it found found the actual location. This is interesting too. The maximum number of simultaneous downloads. This is when you go to download the drivers. Let's say you have 30 that are out of date or 10 that are missing. Stuff along those lines. You can just go ahead and select, oh no, I want to be able to download a total of five at once. Or if you're still surfing the web and you don't want to take all that bandwidth, you can just select one or if you're on dial up. Uh, but otherwise, you know, usually I would bump it up a few. That way you can download multiple at once. And uh, this is just what it says show alternative uh, device drivers in the driver window, the information window. Hey, I wouldn't really want to worry about this. And this is kind of a big deal. Uh, include drivers that are unplugged so this is gonna it, not only cameras mp3 players but printers and things like that that may not be plugged into your computer at that point in time you can select it to say yes I want to go ahead and scan it it's a hundred percent up to you and under history oh yes it's because I didn't save any of those settings uh, under history is where you're gonna see um, any history that's been done you can actually revert back and things like that uh, to back up too and under the Vista Ready, this is something a tool you can download anyways. Uh, but but it is nice for those who are thinking about possibly uh, upgrading from XP to Vista or something along those lines. You can use this tool that's built into, and there's plenty of free ones out there. Um, I wouldn't buy this program just for that. Uh, but but it'll go through and it'll let you know, hey, your system's c is usable or not usable with Vista, and you got the Vista Basic or the Aero interface. And you'll notice, oh, right there, I don't have enough. Uh, uh, um, gigs free on my system so it's like no you can't do it but that's good to know for you right yes I want to cancel the backup window alright so we'll go ahead and you can also revert go to last scan it really doesn't matter we'll go ahead and go home here and I'll say scan now and so what it's going to do is it's going to go out and scan for any drivers that are missing and any drivers that are out of date and it's a really really easy way especially if you have like a gateway and you download downgraded from Vista at XP um, uh, you know you, gateway most of the time doesn't even have the XP drivers so you gotta hunt all over the place and it can be extremely frustrating well this is just so easy to use and you'll have a uh, display adapters uh, it works great for video cards, uh, NIC cards, anything along the lines that you need printer software and it is very important to keep your drivers up to date because this is going to resolve a lot of issues that you may have out. So let me show you an example here. So all you really have to do is uh, just click on the link. You can also click on the plus link and detect it for me. Yes, uh, did this install properly? It'll let you know. So go ahead and hit save and it actually goes out and it finds this exact file that you need for it and it's going to save it to our downloaded location now if you remember I didn't select uh, I didn't change it to to the my documents and create that new folder drivers um, or I didn't change the location here anyways and so it's going to download it to this complicated path and that's why I do recommend changing it and it's almost done so now that it's done I will hit open and boom, it's just going to open it automatically for me. Hey, there we go. There's the latest driver. I could just hit continue and just follow the on-screen prompts on how to install that software. And once done, you'll be like, uh, did it do it or did it not do it? And I just say, hey, detect it for me or yes. Uh, you may be asked to reboot, too, uh, for some of these two as well. So, And this is an absolutely great tool. It's one I used to use all the time uh, when I was doing computer tune-ups for people out in the field. Uh, um, it's a great tool to use. It's very simple. 
Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, brain power at all. It's just basically scan, update, enter, 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 enter. So that concludes this uh, th this uh, deal on how to use it just because it's so simple. It really is. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of uh, whistles in this program. It's just take scan, find it, install it, good. So I hope you enjoyed it and hope this helped. Take care.